Okay, well, let's, um, let's get cards and do my favorite thing of the day. Let's do the wisdom from the universe, and I'm going to ruffle shuffle these really well, and we'll see what the topic of the morning is. I never know what's going to come forward. So, our first in the center is about radiating. Going into it, we have discernment. We've got a lot of these coming up lately, don't we? And surprise. I love that one. Look at that face. Surprise. And it looks like they're on like a um, roller coaster thing there. So let's pull the rest of our cards and see what we have. So I know what direction this is. Radiate discernment and surprise. So it's like um, what I feel immediately is what is it you're putting out in the world? What is your energy that you're just, you know, continually putting out, maybe aware or unaware, and maybe you need to have a little bit more discernment about what you're putting out there. Are you putting out positivity? Are you putting out negativity? Uh, and you might be surprised at some of the consequences of it. But let's see more what it says. So when it says radiating, are you radiating that you're out in the cold? Okay, that's your separate and locked out of spirituality is what it's saying. Um, are you locked out of spirituality? Um, you can. You don't have to be in a physical church, okay? Um, spirituality can be uh, practiced anywhere, and you don't have to be in a physical church. Extremism. Okay, so are you out of uh, alignment with the words or teachings of spiritual masters? Are you radiating extremism like we have, we see now what's happening with these um, antichrist churches? I might just call them out what they are. Because they are churches, they say they're preaching Christ, but they are really... Um, what they are talking about, antithema against what Christ was actually teaching, okay? They teach about prosperity, and he said, lay up for yourself the things in heaven. He didn't say, uh, be seeking riches here, because it says it's uh, harder, it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than it is for rich men here to get to heaven. Why? Because they become corrupted, okay? So what is it you're radiating? Are you radiating this extremism? Are you really out of alignment with spirituality, what Christ was teaching? And so now we go on to the other one about going into it, about what discernment. Uh, really looking at what you're putting out there. Again, we have here what's being constructed, and that is in a church edifice here. So what are your views on money? What are your views that you're picking up from your church, etc., of your ideology? Discerning what you're putting out on, on ostentation, okay? Again, are you putting out something um, that comes from genuine teachings, genuine spirituality? Or are you focused on, oh, uh, I have to have the latest uh, Gucci bag or something that I need to present myself in church? You know, we see a lot of people um, that want to, uh, when they go to church, it's not about the teachings, it's about how good I look and, you know, that type of thing. 
presenting my wealth, etc. So let's see what we have with surprise here. What are you working on? Okay. Now you're working on, again, financial stuff. Are you working on, in your daily life, what are you working on? And what is your vision? Yeah. Where is your mindset? Surprise. Uh, because it depends on what you're working on, uh, what comes back. Um, you might be surprised uh, at what comes forward with your vision. And you need to really, again, it's saying have discernment. Look at what you're taking out of your churchiology, your spirituality. Is, about, is it about ostentation? Is it extreme? What is your vision? So what is it you're radiating? What are you putting out there? And um, the challenge is you might be surprised when you look deeper at what it is you're actually uh, putting out there in the universe because all above it, everything above it is pentacles. It's about your daily life. It's about your ideology that you're working on in your daily life. And are you in alignment with church, with the um, spiritual values that Christ was teaching? Or are you locked out and uh, being wounded because you are, again, um, maybe uh, put yourself in the position of not being, feeling like you're involved in it and comforted in it, etc. Okay. So what is it you're constructing? What is it you're working? The architecture, what are you building? Because you have to have discernment about what you're radiating. And again, you might be surprised um, at what's being put out there and what's going to come forward. Is it about ostentation? Is it about extremism? What is the vision? What are you seeing? Are you seeing clearly? Now we see, um, I don't know why this is coming in, but we see now this is what Gay Pride Month, Gay Pride Day or month or whatever it is, Gay Pride Week, I don't know how long it goes. But I just saw today that they're having violent, um, violent, uh, uh, reactions to it, violence is coming up. So again, this comes under this heading of extremism. Rather than loving others, etc., there's this extreme view, and what they're radiating out there is not love and acceptance, it's hate and division. Now, none of that comes out of Christ's teachings. Um, this comes out of this anti- anti-Christian uh, uh, ideology that's putting out, being put out as Christian. So this is the trouble. Are you in one of those types of churches where you're finding that they have exchanged the teachings of Christ for really the promptings of ego, okay? Uh, the promptings of the temptations of ego to have wealth, power, uh, domination, etc. So again, discern what you're putting out there. What is your mindset? What are you working on? What is your vision? What are you, uh, you know, you might be surprised when you really look at what you're doing in your daily life. Um, so again, look deeper and see what is it you're radiating. Now, I didn't know it's Pride Month, Pride Day or Pride Month, and I've got my rainbow shirt on, and I'm quite happy to wear that. And uh, I think you should be happy no matter what is your persuasion. If you're gay, you're straight, whatever. Um, it's about who you love. It's about who you're attracted to, okay? Uh, so what makes people so... Um, anxious about that and negative, who knows? It's, uh, you know, <laughs> but uh, anyway, we hope that 
people go forward and just look at what you're being taught in your church as well. If you're a person that attends church, you know, the greatest church is in the heart center. That's a temple. We are a temple of the living God. And if you go in your heart center, and that's really what Christ was teaching, was about being from the heart, having that love, having that expression, and putting that out to others. That was one of his, you know, the main teachings that he brought, was about acceptance and love, etc., having the right mindset, doing the right thing. It wasn't uh, what you hear in some of these evangelical churches of about uh, hate and division and money and power and drama. Uh, that's really against what Christ was teaching. So again, it's, it's just saying today, look at what you're putting out there in your daily life. What is your vision and uh, how are you working on this? Are you coming from light and love from the genuine things that Christ was teaching? Or do you feel like you're out in the cold from that? And it might be time to, again, go into the heart center and commune with God because it's all, always available. There's no place that God is not. In the highest heaven, in the deepest depths, God is there. Okay, so you can always commune with it. You don't have to go to a, a physical church. God is not more in a physical church than he is anywhere uh, it, when it comes to his creation, the creation. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. I hope somebody's gotten something out of this, and I'll see you online. And happy Pride month or day or week or whatever it is. I'm so bad with holidays and things like that, uh, timing of things. Um, but uh, whatever it is, you know, celebrate love, light, happiness, and embrace uh, fellow humanity. So thanks for tuning in.